Hello, this is Storyor, and welcome back to our multiplayer campaign of Europa Universalis Fall with my co hosts, Berg787. Hi, and hello. And Binganto. Hello. I really wanted to, I really wanted to say five. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, private joke there, guys. <laughs> or viewer, I should say. Oh, hold on. Wow, loads of pop ups. Oh, those nobles demanding stuff again. It's the privileges. They want privileges all the time. They do. Nobles all the time. Discovered an agent of who? Oh, Bermanus of... Oh. Agent of Cthulhu. Of yeah, an agent of Cthulhu, yeah. Well, there's 30 Cthulhus. Oh, come on, I can do this. I can do this. I can, I can get my country doing? out of this issue now as well. I can do this. What's it going to be like when my country's just fine and everything's plain sailing? I, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Growing. Gosh. That's, that's usually what you want to do. Just to say, though, I have actually gained four provinces since at the start. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. I've actually been growing at the same time as all this crap's been going on. You've been growing whilst saving off implosion. <laughs> it's economic meltdown, really. I'm at eight percent now. Interest, inflation. Wow. Oh, good. I can pick another idea. Excellent. Claim our rival's province, Desh. Whose province is Desh? I bet it's Arissa's. Where is Desh? Oh no, it's Vagina Guard. I mean, um, Bamanus's. Uh, I could do that. But what else could I do? Take Rindakor Doab. I might actually, if I take that, then I'll have a claim on that as well. So I could take both in this war, couldn't I? Do I not have a claim on it already? No, I've already got a claim on it. So I just have it. Doesn't make any sense. Mm. You do have a claim. Oh, the mission is to take it, so you just get bonuses for taking it. Okay. But would that mean it would cost me less diplomatically to take it? I mean, like, you know, in the peace deal. Oh, yeah. It would, yeah? Uh, if you have a claim... I have a claim and then get a mission as well. Um, no, the mission only gives you a claim. If you already have a claim, the only gain you uh, get from that is... I would get uh, the prestige and 25 admin, which is the reward. Yeah. Okay. Well, it is something. It is something, I suppose. Uh, it's either that or put a claim on one of their other provinces. Uh, all right, I'll take that. That's fine. I'll do that once I've sieged out here. In fact, I can actually switch these in half and go on. Siege that out. Be good to take two provinces from Bermanas. Start the uh, incursion north. Because this other province isn't too bad either. Tax base 5. Went with that. And the, the, cult sorry, the culture is part of my culture group, which is good. To my viewers, I am uh, colonizing the province I'm colonizing just to get to Oirat. See how he keeps that quiet. <laughs> Very secretive there. No, because uh, you, you, you can't see, can see me, right? No, I can't see that. That's all in fog of war. I can't see squat about you. I can see the, the, I'm still dubious as to whether you exist. <laughs> He's actually just a one province minor. He keeps losing all his battles. <laughs> yeah. He's pretending to be growing. Yeah, I'm just talking big. <laughs> Right, here we go. Come on, rebels. Die, die, die. die Another line? Die, Thank you. Die. No, we lost the siege. Oh, so close. Oh, I'm actually over my force limit. This is going swimmingly. They're in three wars, but um, bar miners. One against me, one against Malwa, and one against Baluchistan, Gujarat, and Kandesh. Good times. And they actually have no allies either anymore because I think Sindh must have pieced out from them or something like that. Uh, broken their alliance with them all by yourself Bamanas <laughs> all by my <clears throat> sorry oh I need the rebels to move but they won't they're in jungle Arr, gotta kill them no bungle jungle I think happy thoughts think happy thoughts don't die don't die don't die so what one of your millions of different types of rebels are these specifically these ones are the Cambodian ah, right, rebels right, okay. They've been there for a while, haven't they? Oh, gotcha. They're the rebels. biggest armies have been taking up the little ones instead. Who's there sieging out that province in Daiviet? Occupied by Cham patriots. Yeah, the, that's the country that I took over. Cham. Ah. Well, that'd be oh, kind of nice if they broke loose, because then you it could... Would. I could take them singly. Yeah. yeah. Now, the thing is, the Daiviet have 10,000 troops, but they have not attacked single at once yet. So I think... I don't know why. Oh, we won! <gasps> I won! Yes. I mean... Everyone knew I was going to win, obviously. Of course. Obviously. 
of course. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping they do. I hope they do actually break free, because that's another single province I could take. It's would a you, nice one. It's four attacks and would, three cloth. Would you say that they want to break free? Wow, good you're out. I've got loads of rebels. They've got like about... your own little thing there. They've got about 30,000 rebels in three different provinces. Ooh, look at the size of them. They're huge. Who, Gujarat? Yeah. Considering how big they were when they started. Yeah, but they're having all kinds of problems now. Thankfully, the province that I actually have a claim on isn't being sieged by these rebels. Who are these rebels? I can't quite see because like, the fog of war, like, not the fog, but you know, like the darkness. When my ships are patro like uh, protecting trade in that area, I need them to go back up there just so I can see who these rebels specifically are again. But that's a lot of rebels. Are they peasants? They're all peasants. Yeah. Well, you can take, an, take advantage of that if you wish to fight them. I, I can, but I need to first um, sort this out with Bamanas. I don't want to stretch sure. myself. Actually, I, need to I, get that. So, I am stretching myself a bit too much financially, but still fighting in war. I'm sorry, you're stretching yourself financially? Yes. How much in debt are you? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you don't have any loans, but I'm about to have one. I'm sorry, you have no loans? Not anymore, no. But I'm paying a lot for my mercenaries. I'm have you paid off your loans? Loan off. My 51st loan has now been paid off. <laughs> I haven't got any 50 loans left. God damn it. Okay. Mm -hmm. but, sorry, how many did you say you have left? I've got 50 loans left. <sighs> what if you go bankrupt? Isn't that better? I don't know. I thought bankrupt would just basically mean I'd have to leave the game so I tried very not hard not to go bankrupt no it doesn't it just uh, means I've that never been bankrupt before okay, I've never it's... been that bad at the game I feel like bankruptcy was a lot bigger deal earlier in the game like as in it gives you some significant maluses but you don't have to pay off your loans and you get a lot of inflation right we'll have to check into what that does then because we might do that I think you get uh, bon maluses to uh, morale and you gain inflation maybe also lose stability I don't know I think that's it but fair enough, all of that other stuff you can kind of get back much easier yeah. than paying back 800 ducats that you owe in 50 loans and stuff like that. I'm making 0.59 a month. Excellent. Okay, so I've sieged yeah. out Gondan, uh, Golconda, rather, and now I just need the other one to pop. <clears throat> now, whilst these chumps do have a lot of rebels, they still do have quite a few troops and stuff like that lying around, and I don't know if I want to fight Gujarat just yet. I think I'll just take this from Bamanas and be happy. Oh, good times. Good times, the glorious Vagina Guard. Oh, so proud. You wait. I'm on to 181 relations with Ming, and they're still neutral towards me. Yeah, I don't see how to get away this neutral from all the countries around me as well. I just want someone to be friendly. Just someone out there must like me, or want to like me. Someone, please. Please, anybody. <laughs> Does ah. anybody out there like me? <laughs> no. Apparently not. <laughs> Apparently not. It's so sad. I like you, man. Cheers, but you're, I can't actually ally with you or anyone. No, that's true. The thing is, all my um, religious friends are on your subcontinent. <laughs> 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 such a bad move it's, it adds flavour you know what you could possibly try to do when you get your idea group take um, exploration and try and colonise the, these islands over here in the Indian Ocean so maybe you could kind yeah. of come over this way I was looking to do exploration uh, to actually, I was, my aim was to actually colonise Indonesia um, but it went wrong early on so we'll see that's, that's, that was the idea yeah. hopefully well there are some Hindus down there yeah yeah, there's some Hindus in. Um, oh yeah, I see. In Sunda, and I uh, can't quite read with that. Uh, and oh, Maja, Majafat, yeah, them. So you could get some friends. You want to colonise the that land just underneath Siak. Excellent. So those two sieges are done. I don't think I've got enough war score just yet to. To take them both. No, not yet. But I'm not a million miles away. And I'm just chasing some armies around. Nothing too interesting. Where is my explorer? Oh, wow, I am actually quite far away. I need uh, another 30-odd points, so... Okay, well, we'll just siege more of their provinces, won't we? Where is my explorer? 
Um, I'm happy for Speed 3, if anyone else is. If we, yeah. Sorry, just a quick question. If I siege their capital, will that give me even more war score? Yeah, normally they, they hold off a bit. It's usually like a negative, like say minus 10 or minus 15, because they hold their capital. Right, well, it's okay. basically it's not too normally. war score, I think. It's to their reasons to accept. Ah, right, okay. Yeah, well, then that's a yeah, good yeah. thing for me, then, basically, yes. to go on. It's almost like fake war score, effectively. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good time. Do you want to go up to speed three? So I'm happy to do that. I'm happy for that at the moment. I'm not yeah, actually. Yeah, I'm not actually fighting Bamanas. I don't think they've got any yes, army so. to fight me with. I am fighting Oirad, but it's basically chasing the armies around. So, what happens with these peasants? Like, what the peasants do when they siege? Like, what are their demands? Is it change of government or something like that? Peasants, I think you lose. Uh prestige and uh, gain autonomy or something like that okay so it's not really that big a, it's not really that advantageous to me that they're sieging out these Gujarat provinces like it's not that big a deal for me well I mean it's good if I was to go to war with them because they're causing them problems I get that but well they are losing manpower they are losing money it's it only weakens them true so no, nothing significant in the long run but in the short run yes that's a in lot of rebels run. I don't know how they're going to get rid of all those rebels there's so many of them yeah, about 20,000. special kind of person to get rid of all the rebels in his country. <laughs> True. 20,000 of them have now moved into that province on the border of uh, my tentacle. So we're, we're not going to go and fight them. <laughs> yeah, Malwa are kicking Bamanas' ass from the north. Which is quite handy. Malwa are actually allied with Jampur, who used to be Bamanas' ally. Nah. Uh, we lost our... Oh, I lost that. Oh, a trade dispute, Cass is a CB. Who cares? Mm, but man, but man, how much are you uh, expecting to take? 100% war score or not? No, I don't want the whole... Uh, no, no, I just want the two provinces, like that, uh, the gold one and the one next to it that I've already got sieged out. Because I have claims on that. I don't have claims anywhere else, I don't think. Oh, no. You do, on Poon. Poon? Uh, I could take Poon, I suppose. Um, will you be also uh, annoying their alliances with somebody or, or not? They haven't got any alliances. Oh. <laughs> Agricultural Remember. revolution. So I can gain 30 manpower or one base tax. Oh, I'll take the base tax, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, Marathi. Is, no, yeah, Marathi is in Poon. Do I have any Marathi? I do, but it's not an accepted culture. How many, culture, how many provinces of a culture do you need before it becomes uh, like an accepted culture. It needs to be a percentage of your base tax, I think. I don't or your income. I don't remember the exact Percent numbers. Of your cause, and it's in your. Um, if you go to your government tab, diplomat government tab, uh, in the top right, there's a the two little theater faces. Yeah, yeah. Next to it, it says what the percentages need to be. Uh, okay. okay. Can I just pause it just for a second? I just want to read this. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, so if a culture is at least 20% of our cores, then it will become accepted. If a culture is below 10% present of our cores, then it will no longer be accepted. Okay. You can increase... So down below it shows you oh, but hold on. Maraf, it says here that it's 10.9%, so I would need... So you need to go above 20 to become it, and then we'll go below 10 to be removed. So it's like a bit of a buffer zone. Mm -hmm. Right, but it's not... Because there's that yellow... Like, it's red at the moment, but then there's the yellow one, isn't there, where it's kind of like... Yeah. Partly. I think yellow means it's, 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 um, it is accepted, but it's going to stop being if you keep going lower, like it's below 20. Yeah, I see what you mean. So I need to get... How many more provinces would I need to take? Poon wouldn't be enough. That's the problem. Mm. You can work towards that. I can do, but I don't want to take too much of Balmanas right now. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right, anyway, I'll, I'll pause it. Sorry. Yeah. You, can, you can modify those thresholds by, I think, uh, humanist ideas. Okay, yeah, but I'm not going to be taking humanist ideas just yet. Oh, cool, I can get my idea. Excellent. What did I say I was going to take? Religion, right? Yeah. All right. It, it is admin, so it will take you a while to fill up, but the first the first idea, I oh, love it so much. Uh, that stability cost modifier one's pretty nice. Minus 25%. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, religious ideas. Boom. Let's go. Religious ideas is interesting because it's mostly, in the long run, it mostly adds to your diplomatic points because you're well, not well, spending on. them on beating out. Where the hell are you going, you Balmanas bastards? They've got some army all of a sudden from somewhere. 6,000 have come to try and break the siege of their capital. Thankfully, I've got those 5,000 not too far away, so... Come on, get there. 
Yeah, there we go, and they're getting the river crossing penalty. Yeah, you're growing quite nicely, actually. It's all a bluff. <laughs> Just pretend <laughs> incompetence. I pretend incompetence. <laughs> you actually, yeah, you're going to be blobbing out soon. Take on Arissa, Bahamas. Boom. Come here! Good Where are you going, you coward? Stop running away, I want to crush you. My cultures are finally accepted now, so my whole country has accepted cultures, and I'm finally t converting the religions as well. But the good thing about that is, it's mean my income is going up by quite a bit. Come on, so stack wipe my loans faster and faster. Stack wipe. You suffered a stack wipe? No, no, I'm trying to stack wipe, but unfortunately, it's not not working. What? Stack wipe. Yeah. Why did they just run through my men? That seems a bit weird. Are they black flagged? I didn't quite see. Uh, Vagina Guard gains a core. Oh, cool. I get a core on Savarana. Oh, that. Oh, okay, cool. That's good. Because that was a province that I'd sieged, but I didn't have a core on. So I could take that as well. Mm. Yeah, useful. Hmm. Maybe. I, I might be too aggressive, but I usually take as much as, as I can, even if I don't have cores or claims. That might be too, too aggressive of me. Maybe. Okay, let's just... Uh, we've been informed that Vagina got Gujarat has discovered Fabric... Okay, well... Have fun fabricating those claims and not being able to back them up. Hmm. Well, Gujarat is quite strong, actually. I mean, I I'm not saying that you would lose to them, but they are dangerous. Well, that's fair enough, but maybe they should deal with their rebel problems first. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they would try to bite a bit of Bamanis. Because they do have a lot of land sieged. Oh no, that's Malwa. Where's Malwa? Malwa's just to the north of them. Alright. Yeah. Okay. I could take those provinces that I wanted originally. I could actually take all three of those lower provinces. Well, you also have a claim in the north, right? On Poon. Yeah. Ah, shit. Get over there. That's oh, alright. Some Malwa troops joined my fight against them. They were trying to un <laughs> try to fight me and Malwa, even though we're not obviously we're in we're, we're both at war with them, but not in together in the war. But they decided to bail me out. Thanks, Malwa. Good guys. <clears throat> Where's my explorer? Right, if only I had a claim on Desh, that would be pretty handy. Uh, Japan's starting to uh, form up quite nicely. Oh, you can see Japan. Yeah. Shiba is, is kind of the biggest one, and they're still expanding. Mm. You're transferring power, are you? Me? Yeah, I'm trying to diplomatically vassalize a country, but I uh, <sighs> can't really get enough relations with them. How greedy do I want to be? Let's take Poon as well. I'll take four provinces from them. I'm going to be too. I'm a bit concerned if I take that. Though. That might be a bit too much. No, let's not be greedy. Let's take yeah, the three. Greedy. <laughs> no, no. I don't want to end up like uh, Meganto and all kinds of. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! It's this. They did break free. Who did? That new country. Oh, really? Okay, well, that's good for you. All oh, right. Yeah, send I'm demands. The... Oh, shitting hell. Fine. Excellent. Super. There we go. Good times. It's not good because they become a vassal of the. Uh... Ayutthaya. Oh. So has become even stronger now. And now I've stopped my advance towards Divert. It's all good. Okay, now let's move the my Happy army thoughts. to where I have the most rebellion risks. Malabar. Anti-Muslim edict. Oh. Makes me stronger. <laughs> Do it. <sighs> Kill the Muslims. Have you, uh, you had a little look at Bamanas and uh, Vagina Guard recently? Bloody hell. Yeah, good time. What's your base tax now? Ah, uh, how do I check that? Uh, oh. Under governments and that's oh, right under government. One hundred. No, so economy. Under economy. Economy, yeah. Yeah, one hundred. Oh, I have eighty-one. That's not a hundred. I have though, is forty-one. It? Yeah. Well, and going... I've got exactly six hundred and sixty-six ducats. Hmm. I have exactly minus seven hundred ninety. <laughs> it's fine. I'm wondering if bankruptcy would actually be the better choice for you. Gondwana has now declared war on Bamanis. <laughs> Everyone's just pillaging them. Oh, 
not Paul Vermanis. No, Vermanis. not Paul Vermanis. No, there's no you know Paul. What? I'd like to pause for a little while because I'd like to compose a peace deal with Oirat if, if I can. <laughs> I think we're with us then. Is it get by? Sorry? I thought you were going to say with us. No. I'd like to organize a peace with you. <laughs> okay, just let me see if I can take something more than that, really. Okay, oh, that's really I nice. I'll just feed my vassal. What'd I get here? Cotton? What's that? Cloth? And gold! Gold! Okay, that will be enough. Alright, I'm gonna have to call the gold province now, so I want the tax. Okay. I'm pausing. Good times. And in the meantime, I think I'm going to make a claim on Desh. Because I do need Desh and Poon. So I can uh, get more Marath. What, what's it called again? What's their. I can't remember what the name of their uh, culture is again. Ah, come out. No, Liberty Desire. Yeah, Marathi. Uh, sorry, Marathi. can we go down to speed two? Because, uh... Yeah, 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 sorry. A lot of Some stuff going on. We're coming to the end. Kuru, what is Kuru? Kuru. Ah, Ooh. Sorry, that was a fork from uh, the plate I have in front of me for the time when we have a break. Uh, Kuru. Yeah, here you are. Rebels, DS, rivals, Orat. There should be a stable government. What's this? Accept demands, lose 50 admin points. Or ignore them, lose 10 prestige. I think I'll take the admin point hit just this time. Uh, improve relations. Okay. Alright, okay. What quests do I have? You can stop when you're ready, guys. Mm, okay, I'll, just I'll, a minute. I'll get my quests next episode. Ooh, can you see on the west? Can you see Naj D? Naj? Oh yeah. They're growing oh. quite a bit, Naj. Add a bit of shama. Mm -hmm. I can only see the, the, the writing and a bit of the green, but it looks like they've taken quite a few chunks. Yeah, they took some of the south of shama and I think maybe a province of Oman. I can ask the entire east coast of Africa as well, not the actual coast itself, but just the waters. Okay, mm. I think I am ready to finish now, because I have finished my war and all my diplomatic shenanigans. Do you want okay. to pause? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So everybody, thanks very much. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and check out all the perspectives. And we will see you with the next episode, um, if everything is going correctly, the day after tomorrow. Right. So thanks. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.